Hi Aries, welcome to your January full moon in Cancer Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Aries, we're looking at the full moon which can be about completions, endings, full circles. In Cancer can be about um, doing a re-evaluation of our emotional connections, relationships, which ones bring us a healing energy, a balanced energy, which ones put us in a positive energy to move forward. So I'm not an astrologist. I just want to say that. So uh, I'm just here to read the cards on the energies. So let's see how all this can affect your situation, no matter what it may be for Aries. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Happy New Year. All right, for Aries, let's get you one more. All right. Soulmate relationship. New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. These um, readings have been all about new situations. So let's see. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Self-forgiveness. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child in divine magic extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now expect miracles so so we do have a situation so i feel like here um for some of you aries i feel like this is someone that you kind of already know or are in a connection with maybe you've never been romantically involved with them and somehow i feel like you're connected maybe energetically um spiritually telepathically whatever here the self-forgiveness, um, uh, you know, maybe there's things of the past you just need to heal, forgive, and release from, you know, but I definitely feel like there's some sort of connection here, that is for sure. And I kind of get like that DNA energy, which means you could have had past lives with this person. All right, so, you know, don't hold any guilt, resentment, um, whatever that may be, either towards yourself, any past situations, or anything that may have happened with this person because it is saying it's a magical connection here that's kind of what i feel so definitely watch your thoughts about that as well and don't you know oh my gosh what happened here what there's something turned over here i just seen you know, it let's see if i can find it what the heck all right where are you hiding i seen you I just seen it. Where it, there it is, there it is, there it is. Four of Cups. Yeah, definitely contemplating. So this could be a message. Oh, what's that? Queen of Swords. So seeing something clearly here, um, something that you're contemplating as well. All right. It's kind of like the divine step. I always see like the Queen of Swords as like divine stepping in with clarity to let you know here that whatever you're, th whoever you're thinking about, it is a divinely it is a divine connection and there's a very magical energy around it as well hmm. aries all right so let's see what is going on for you aries sun moon rising venus male or female general collective reading please only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned and you definitely can flip it switch it when you need to cross watchers as well all right let's see what's going on for you aries king of rods well that could be you Knight of Pentacles. Are you making moves towards someone? Tower. Maybe you're going to make the first move here. I don't know. You're wanting change. Changing something here. Page of Pentacles, which making an offer or a gesture. Justice. So feeling like either something is was unfair or an injustice or something. I don't, because we do have self-forgiveness here. So I don't know if something happened in the past with this, per, with this person where something was said or done um like maybe if somebody expressed an interest and the other one kind of like oh well you know played it off as like they weren't interested when they were i feel like someone said or did something that they regret instead of maybe reciprocating or something along those lines sounds a, sounds a little childish but that's kind of what i feel here so something felt like somebody felt like someone something was not right they're coming forward for change to make some sort of gestures here to right or wrong 
definitely moving forward. It's been a long time coming, but this is your energy, uh, Aries, the King of Rods. This is either you doing this or they're doing this. And it's going to be a big, big change here. That is for sure. It's going to make the change, I feel. So, I mean, that's Leo for me, but that definitely could be you, Aries. We have then Taurus, Aries, Capricorn. We are in Capricorn season right now. And Libra, Six of Swords. Someone's returning in reverse. Magician in reverse. So I feel like this has not really, really kicked off yet. But it's really not over yet between the two of you. Eight of Cups. Somebody could have walked away or did something or turned their back. Acted like they weren't interested in when they were or something like that. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody could have been working just to avoid this as well for some reason or saying you know i'm working i'm too busy i don't have time when it was just kind of like an excuse we have gemini virgo showing up as well oh boy okay let's see let's see what's going on here you aries everything you need to know is down below aries my other smaller channel is below if you like more generalized kind of readings. I do four different general type of readings over there. Playlists and list of readings I do for both are down below if you'd like to check that out. All right, so what else do we need to know? Okay, Ten of Swords. Somebody, I think, it's kind of not the right terms to say ended this, but whatever they did, it kind of like cut the connection off when really they didn't mean it. The Hierophant, but what do they had on their mind? Is this is a spiritual relationship here. And I felt the divine showing up, the magical energy, the soulmate, the past life. Somebody wants to do the right thing now with the Hierophant. The moon. Someone's getting over fear. Getting over their fear about what they did and just coming forward. King of Swords. Yeah, truth, clarity, saying it like it is. That they feel the special connection. Oh my goodness. The lovers exactly someone kind of like avoided this connection because they were afraid of it or it was some sort of excuse or something but i see now someone getting over their fear and like saying well what i did was stupid i want to write this wrong i want to make it right leveling up to the occasion telling the truth about the special divine connection here wow maybe they may be asking for forgiveness so we're probably really going to need to watch our thoughts and what we say to each other as well. So there's that full moon energy with the moon. So we have Taurus, Pisces, Gemini, Gemini, King of Cups in reverse. Someone denied that they had love and emotions when they did the whole time. So this could be a very, very over emotional experience as well. There's a reuniting, coming together, dating, getting to know. Overcoming. Strength can overcome anything. Strong connection cannot be denied. Maybe even past lives as well. So we have Leo and Pisces showing up. And we have Capricorn season here. Capricorn. Someone has commitment on their mind now, a relationship on their mind, and they want to speak the truth. The King, Queen of Swords. Let's be honest and truthful with each other. It's time. And there's that divine energy stepping in again divine magic and there's the soulmate energy wow two of cups so we have libra capricorn leo pisces gemini twice here too as well wow someone's got i don't know if this will go full-blown into commitment but someone's got i want to say commitment on their mind or just doing the right thing now undoing what they did because i realized it was Stupid and foolish. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody could have denied a connection or a relationship is kind of what I feel. And whatever their train of thought was, their strategy with this, just it didn't work. It was very childish. It was stupid. It's kind of what I'm getting here with the Seven of Swords in reverse. It's like they're now saying, why did I even say or do that? It was stupid. It was foolish. It was childish. Six of Swords. Some in reverse. Someone's coming back. Five of Pentacles, they don't want this, um, even if it doesn't come back together, they don't want it to end that way, of just the way it is, what was. Five of Pentacles in reverse, about coming out of like lack, loss, abandonment kind of energy, or the separation, or whatever here. 
Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they've been holding back for quite a long time here. Cancer. Doing this, but I don't think they're going to be holding back anymore. Yeah, Temperance Angel here bringing soulmates together in Divine Alchemy. That's Sag energy. Two of Rods. I think they're choosing a path here. Two of Pentacles, two of Rods. So they're definitely here. They want to uh, leave the confusion here with the Seven of Cups in reverse. We're brand new beginning in love. Wow. Start a new cycle. They don't like how the cycle ended before. They want to start a new cycle. Now it could be traveling or distance. Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. What's behind that? Yeah, they know they sabotaged this Five of Swords, but now they want a court, date, romance, whatever that means here. So we have Scorpio showing up as well. Wow. All right. So Aries, on my other channel, I do have a new series out, and it was a lot of fun. It was a little bit different on my other channel, and it gives you tools, resources um, for spiritual like navigation through the month. January is out. So I pull you all kinds of things to work with, such as a uh, chakra, a crystal, an archangel, an affirmation, a spirit animal, a little bit of a tarot reading. Um, it's a lot of different things like that, and it was a lot of fun. Colors, numbers, lots of things. So it's a lot of fun if you'd like to check that out. You could find it in the cards at the end of this, or you could check the playlist. All right. General readings over there are going out now as well, if you like general readings. Eight of Cups. See, somebody walked away. Hermit. So now they, they walked away. Whatever they did, they walked away. And now the heavy reflection on what had happened here, having the illumination here. Now they want to speak their truth again. Coming out here, Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, in reverse. Devil in reverse, which is good because that means coming out of fear, stress, wor worry, anxiety, negative thinking, pessimism, whatever that energy may be. Now it's like, well... I really want to be in a relationship with you. I don't want to be single. Maybe they weren't really feeling overly confident before with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, but they're overcoming any fear or whatever here to come in and right the wrong. They've had a lot of introspection about how they walked away or turned their back as well. They found their way. They're finding their way back to you as well. So we have Virgo, Libra, Capricorn. Capricorn season showing up again. Seven of Rods, letting down the walls, letting our defenses down, success and victory. Sun, you know, little unhappy energy right now, but it's still happiness and joy, just a little bit of a delay. Enlightenment is to come. So we have Leo showing up here. So I want to see, like, what's going to happen here? What else do I need to know? Aries, I don't know, are you going, I didn't really get, do we have you, well, we had you up there with the King of Rods as Leo, but that could be you, Aries, but, and also the Tower is Aries, so... So I don't know if you're doing this, if this is your energy or theirs, but I don't know. Let's see if we can get more information. So you'll have to take, you know, take it how it resonates. If it's you, it's them. Okay. Card on the floor. Card on the floor. All right, let me grab that. Six of rods in reverse. It was just upright, wasn't it? They're not going to feel happy, confident, successful until they rectify the situation. That's kind of what I feel here. Five of Cups there. Definitely regret regret here. Three of Cups. Courting, dating, getting to know, reuniting. High Priestess. In the Hierophants, my spiritual couple of the deck. I felt that high level energy of the divinity, the magic, the past life, the soulmate energy. That's my spiritual soulmate couple of the deck. Nine of Swords, overcoming fear, stress, worry, and anxiety. So we have Pisces showing up here. Definitely could have been a time of no communication as well. But I feel like they're not going to be happy until they somehow resolve the situation. They definitely want to come together now. They don't want to be stressed out anymore. They want to end. If there's been no communication or how they communicated in the past about this. Four of Swords, they thought about it long and hard enough. They're ready to take action is in reverse. King of Pentacles. We did see the Queen, didn't we, a few minutes ago? Now we have the King. This actually could transform the Death card. There's been some sort of ending, but now they want to communicate, transform the situation, 
again, because they know they sabotaged it. Judgment here. So, you know, life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving, releasing, making way for new, the new energy here between you as well. Call to action. Someone's being called to action here as well. So we have Scorpio. That's that past life energy, soul contract. Scorpio, Scorpio, Virgo. So I kind of feel like here, uh, Aries, definitely here, someone's going to come and right their wrong. They're not going to be happy until they do. And they feel so stupid for denying their feelings or whatever here, or the connection between you. Maybe it scared them because it was such a high level connection, but they definitely want to make it right. All right. Aries. So let's see what else we need to know for Aries. Again, everything you need to know is below Aries. My other channel playlist and list of readings I do on both channels as well. All right. Generals are going out on the other channel. The spiritual navigation tools, spiritual readings on the other channel. I also do spare messages as well and money and career. Again, all that's down below. So past through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. So, yeah, they don't, someone doesn't like how it went down in the past. I don't feel a sense of cheating or anything like that. So, again, something shows up here you have no interest in. It's natural reading. Um, if you're associating this to cheating, I'm not feeling that. But, of course, you're going to take it how you feel it's, it's, resonating for you so there's nothing i can do about that but let's see vision no matter what you see the bigger picture of a loving just universe see just someone who wants to make things just and right vision new vision for the future friendliness you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connection so maybe this was a friend situation or you started out as friends in the past hmm, creativity you love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. You could have been creating something together as well. But I kind of feel, oh, I did just see unity. But I do feel like um, someone wants to rectify this. And there is a chance to have this deep connection here. They get it now, they want it now, and they, they have regrets. So ultimately, it's up to you, Aries. All right, Aries, that's what I have. Everything's below. Wishing you the best. Happy New Year. And I shall see you next time.